Hello dear my students, let's start our computer class. So now open your computer book cyber hub, page number 19. So today I will teach you selecting and deselecting icons means how can you select and deselect an icon or icons. Follow the given step to select an icon. So first I will tell you how can you select an icon. Using the left mouse button, click the icon you want to select. So, dear my student, which icon you want to select, just you click on it. Then that icon will change into light blue color. And this shows that the icon has been selected. Now, I will tell you how can you deselect an icon. Click the left button of the mouse or left mouse button anywhere away from the selected icon. Means for deselecting an icon, just click on the desktop background, then the selected icon will change to its original color. This shows that the icon has been deselected. Hiding and unhiding the desktop icons means how can you hide and unhide the desktop icons. So let's first know about how can you hide an icons or an icon. Step 1. Right click on the desktop. Click on view. So step 1 is first you right click on the desktop then this type of box will come. Then click on view. When you click on view, step 2. Click on show desktop icons to uncheck it. Like this box will come. Then you click on show desktop icons. When you click on show desktop icon, this tick sign will disappear. Then you know or you See, these all icons disappear as soon as you uncheck the show desktop icons option. Step 3. To make the icons reappear on the desktop, click on the show desktop icons option again. So, dear my students, again for unhiding the desktop icons means how can you unhide the desktop icon or icons. Then again you click on show desktop icons. Then this tick sign again appears and all the icons again reappear on the desktop. Taskbar. Now we know about taskbar. So what is taskbar? A horizontal bar located at the bottom of the desktop is called the taskbar. So here see dear my students it is desktop. This bottom part of the desktop is called taskbar. Okay. The taskbar has different sections. Here you see it is taskbar and this taskbar has different section. So like, let's we know about different section. The left end of the taskbar has the start button. Here you see left side it is start button. The middle section of the taskbar, middle section from here to here, it is middle section. You can add application buttons. In this middle section of the text bar, you can add application buttons. Clicking on the application button will open the program quickly. This section also shows programs that currently open or running. This allows us to switch between them easily. The right end of the taskbar is called the notification area or notification bar. 
So, dear my students, you see, it is notification area or notification bar. This area shows the clock, a group of buttons showing status and notification about network connection, system updates, speaker volume, etc. So, dear my students, in this notification area, you can see your clock, status, a notification about network connection, system updates, and speaker volume. The extreme right of the taskbar has a small vertical button called show desktop. So, dear my students, after this notification bar, you see this small area is called show desktop. Okay. On clicking this button, all open windows are minimized. When you click on this bar, sorry, this show desktop, all open windows are minimized and the desktop is displayed. Okay. Here you see the different section or different parts of taskbar. It is start button and from here to here it is middle section and these are some application buttons and it is notification bar or notification area and this small area is so desktop okay so let's we know about start button the start button is on the bottom left side of the desktop here you see the left side bottom left side of the desktop is called start button this button gives you access to different programs on your computer when you click on the start button, the start menu appears. So, dear my students, when you click on this start button, the start menu appears. It is start menu. The start menu gives access to documents, Windows applications, Windows help and support menu. And much more, this start menu gives you access to documents, different up windows applications windows help windows support menu and much more you can also switch off the computer using the shutdown option on the start menu so dear my students you can switch off the computer using this shutdown option on the start menu means when if you want to switch off or close your computer then first you click on start button then you can see shut down option then you click on that shut down option your computer will closed okay so thank you dear my students